and welcome to Retro Roulette. You've got 30 minutes. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Fortune. 30 minutes until what? And Jason Amherst. Pizza, pizza. Correct. 30 minutes until what? Until half of the show is until over. My, until my penis falls <laughs> 30 minutes, Mars. 30 minutes. That's 30 seconds to Mars, Jason. <laughs> I appreciate the effort, though. Uh, we're You're playing... <laughs> We're playing in 64 games. Uh, as as introduced in the previous episode of N64 Roulette, there are three ch- three choice spaces on the wheel with our names on them. Uh, if we should land on that space, we get to choose. Whoever's uh, space it is gets to choose the game that we play next. And I have provided a list of games that are on the wheel in the uh, Discord chat for you guys so that you know what we're dealing There's with here. There's a couple... Oh, there's a couple here that it's going to be hard to choose. It is going to be kind of hard to choose for some of these. So let's get this underway. See what we're doing. Oh my God, this has been on the wheel forever, and it's we're just now getting to it. But it's been on the wheel for a long fucking time. Wow, okay. long ass time. This has been on the wheel. That table does not look very sturdy. No. <laughs> Europe, A.D. 1300. That's it. That's all you get. Oh, never mind. For centuries, an impenetrable darkness has shrouded Europe, Arabia, and Asia, with countless victims succumbing to the ravenous hunger of unchecked... I wasn't, like, reading that or anything, you fucking... Terror from the shores of Japan to Europe in Arabia, the legendary Assassin's Guild asserts a bid for power. Toppling sultans hmm. under the despotic rule of a handful of feudal lords. <laughs> okay, Mike. Calm down. Jesus, sorry. Don't die. I was trying to not cough, and I ended up coughing anyway. Alright, I'm done with this shit. Mesa Dark Age. Let's fucking go. Sweet. Uh, uh, yes, yeah. another another uh, Killer Instinct Mortal Kombat like gore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Save the distance. I believe this was Midway that did this one, though. Yep, this one was Midway. So this one, this one was Just Midway. Like, uh, War Gods. Emphasis on mid. <laughs> oh, there's extra yeah. extra characters. Uh, let's Eight. go... Ooh, Hell Knight. Uh, let's do Hell Knight. Uh, I was sent to bring the mace back to the end. Mordo Skull. You will die by fighting whatever. Okay. Ooh, slashy hack, slash, slash. Mordo Skull. I would like to think that they put a, a character called Hell Knight in this game to foreshadow the fact that they, they did Doom 64. Okay. And there's a there's a enemy called the Hell Knight in that game. But this looks nothing wow. like the Doom Hell Knight. Maybe the maybe the Doom 2016 Hell Knight it looks light like, but not not the uh the 64 one. I just can't get over the freaking sound effect spam. Hit. <laughs> Oh, so then basically it's Colossus from X Men the Arcade game. Basically. <laughs> yeah. Head on the bike. Koyasha. Don't take your eyes off of my blades. Small Yasha. Got it. Take your eyes off my blades. Don't look at my boobies. Just look at my blades. As opposed to Inuyasha, yeah. it's Koyasha. I don't think... I'm, I'm suspecting Hell Knight does not have any noticeable genitalia, so... Fair. Unless it's like a gator and it's just like... It only comes out when it's... Time. <laughs> I didn't know how to word that any better than that. <laughs> when it's... When it's when time. Goo-goo, fuck you, fuck, fuck time. Yeah, when it's goo goo time. Yeah, that's right. That's what I'm calling it from now on. It's goo goo time. I'm sure that'll get me laid. 
<laughs> no doubt, no doubt about it. Hey, ladies! Hey, ladies! It's Goo time. time. Six women jump mm -hmm. on my face. <laughs> God, guaranteed. Oh, guaranteed. Did that's he what. Just say, hold on a second. Did he just say Goo Goo time? I am ripping my dress off. That's right. I'm... Clean up on aisle three. <laughs> Clean up on aisle eight. Oh, I, I swear to God, if he says Google time again, I, I, I don't it's think gonna I'll make, be able to control it's gonna, myself. It's going to make me so wet, Trix. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, I need some uppers. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Five legs. Five legs. <laughs> that six that women didn't get too turned on. Five out of six women respond well to Goo Goo time. <laughs> the sixth woman was Roseanne Barr. <laughs> uh, the sixth woman, Roseanne Barr should never, uh, Roseanne Barr and Goo Goo time should never be in the same sentence unless it's the sentence I just said. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, goo goo time, Dan. <laughs> Dan blows his own brains out. <laughs> Rose, okay, Roseanne, I'm just gonna step into the other room and put this gun in my mouth. <laughs> oh. The Connors is filmed in front of a blind studio audience. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> Tom Arnold's like, I put my thing in that thing. Well, in fairness to Tom Arnold, he was on a lot of drugs. <laughs> he, he did. I, he I and mean, Roseanne I did a lot uh, of drugs in the 80s. I'm but pretty, sure, pretty sure yeah, Tom Arnold and Roseanne did all the drugs. How <laughs> did they have Google time? Oh. What I want to know is how do you have a Coke problem and a weight problem? What's... Are you killing me? Chris, what? Chris Farley. Well,. You, you, actually, you can't do that anymore. Are we just going to gloss over the fact that I just got turned into a giant quark? Oh, I got to I gotta go with Barrel, dude. Yeah. The mace uh, with three by people. Oh, to I up. am made of barrels. Uh -uh. Oh, I, I'm a vegan. Look at me! I'm a fucking mech made out of barrels! Oh, we were in damaging killed... water. <laughs> I just killed you, Terry. You fucking died, you bitch. Uh, I'm just thinking of that uh, scene from Ed, Ed and Eddie when uh, Rolf oh. went through the sausage machine. Oh, hey, your, death, boys. your death would be magically delicious. They're magically disgusting. Disgusting. This game. It's not so I, bad. I would not recommend this. It's not I so bad. I wouldn't recommend this game for children because it's fucking disgusting. Yeah, that that is true. That's not definitely not meant I mean, for children. It could be worse. It could, could be, be raining. Yeah. Yeah. You're not wrong. I am a very high strung Irish mother. This game is fucking disgusting. I'm Alan Rickman's mother. <laughs> mommy, mommy, please change my diapers, mommy. You're, I did poopy. You are 53 my... years old. I am not changing your diaper. What? I need you to change my diaper, actually. My cat, actually, my cat, the you're doing this. Alan, for God's sakes, you died in 2016. I am Alan's Rickman. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> Alan's Rickman. Alan's Rickman. That's another is metal he, cast deep cut. Is it? Is it? Is it Google time already? Oh no. <laughs> Alan Rickman's mother needs Google time. Oh, no. We need to make another Alan Rickman. The old one is broken. 
<laughs> the old one had a. That's an odd way of saying your son died, Alan Rickman's mom. <laughs> now, if you will excuse me, it's time to go schlick schlick. <laughs> that's how. That's what they call it in the Netherlands. <laughs> schlip schlip. I. I would not use. I would not use this toothbrush for about two days. Jesus. <laughs> Guten Tag, slip, slip. Guten Tag, slip, slip. Guten Tag, dick, dick. Guten Tag, dick, dick. Ach, du lieber und oh boy. Guten Tag, clap, clap. Guten Tag, slip, slip. Guten Tag, slip, slip. <laughs> oh, nip, slip. Guten Tag, nip, slip. <laughs> Guten Guten tag, nip slip. Nip slip. I guarantee you see a lot of those in Amsterdam. <laughs> Particularly because, you know, in certain oh, sections of that city, you don't even really... have to wear clothing. <laughs> yeah, that, that is right. We have, we have a lot of uh, nude bitches with, where, where we put our noobly noobs out. <laughs> That's right. My, my favorite movie is The Rocketeer. Is the what? Say the Rocketeer. You know, you know the Rocket. Oh. Yeah, that, that is what I said. Yeah. <laughs> the Rocket Queer. Excuse you. Yeah. The rock <laughs> well, well, you know, Jace said what I wanted to say, but I was I was trying to be nice. The rock it is the gay porn version, the Rocket Queer. <laughs> <laughs> Made by Wood Rocket. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Continue. Uh, let's go, Ichiro. Silent assassin. Oh, he's got a blade. Oh, he's got himself a katana. It's, it's Ichiro. He's going to hit home runs. <laughs> it's attention stealth assassins. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Okay, executioner. Why don't you go back to you being just, a re re Why don't you go back to being a referee for I, the first season of American Gladiators? Not to, hey, listen, not to like upset you, but you just got your shit rocked. I did. By a guy with pierced nipples. Ooh, Hershey kiss nips. No, he seriously has nipple piercings. If you ever look at his character model closely enough, see, look. Nipples. See, look at the nipples. Yeah, look at that. He does have nipple piercings. Mm. Executioner's pushing my shit in. Um, let's go. He is pushing you. Ooh, Takeshi. I love his castle. Takeshi's castle. Let's go, Takeshi. Phone Takeshi Joe! Go! I, I still need to finish uh, watching uh, the season of the reboot. Yeah, me too. That's what I I find it so funny that uh, uh, the guy who leads them into battle in the first couple episodes is from Kamen Rider. Oh, the the reboot? Yeah. Yeah, I thought you. I thought you were going to talk about the original series. There's like, not General Tani wasn't a, a dragon rider. What are you talking about? No, he was not. He was or or <laughs> as he or as he was called in the MXC version, Captain Tennille. Captain Tennille, yeah. And yeah. Ain't nothing but muscarat love, baby. Jesus! My God, this is on easy. By the way, <laughs> I just want to point that out. I did get him in one round, though. Oh, so. I know. it's. You pretty... know, I can't imagine what this would be like on hard if if he's just totally desecrating you. He's the sex executioner. <laughs> Ooh, the sex executioner. That's why his nipples are, near, nipples are pierced. So I can say words, right? Nipples? Yeah. I would nipples. like to give I would like to nipples. I would like to nipples your pierce. Come on. Die already. 
I, I would like to this elevated on platform you. bullshit is not helping, by the way. <laughs> just uh, my God, that one fucking attack drains like a quarter no. of your health. Jesus Christ! Well, that's maybe that's you should be the guy from the box too. art. Do what, Jason? Be the guy from the box art. Who is the guy in the box art? Lord Demos, I think. <laughs> Good question. The the red guy. Uh, oh, him. Yeah. Red guy. Red guy. <laughs> My lava realm will be a burial ground. Blah, 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 blah. It's a uh, heavy metal set. <laughs> it's, I think this game is less heavy metal and more heavy metal FAKK. Or heavy metal. Oh, uh, fucking, at least it's not heavy metal 2000. Heavy metal the magazine. At least it's not heavy metal 2000. Fuck that. Oh, that, God. Yeah, that's, that's true. Yeah, Dark Rift is Heavy Metal 2000. <laughs> playing as Lord Demos is play paying off so far. Seven told, mm -hmm. told me that, like, you know, being the guy on the cover of the game was kind of like playing on easy mode, you know? Because he's, he's like the mascot. Yeah. Kind of like playing as Ryu or Ken. Sure, you can. Are you Ken? No, I'm Lord Demos. So are you Ken? Get kicked. I'd like to I just <laughs> I just sparted his ass. <laughs> I really thought you said I just sparted his ass. Uh no. <laughs> you 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 barely farted him. That's right. <laughs> Never farted on another man's balls. Oh, it's Princess Jasmine. Hey, everybody knows that. A dollar Store Mortal Kombat character. Aladdin's not going to save you. I can show you my ass. <laughs> Shiny, slimmery, stinky. <laughs> Have me jingle. My brown eye opens up just for you. <laughs> A whole new plural. A whole new hole. A new fantastic thing to do. Don't stick it in my puss or in my mouth. Just put it in this whole new hole for you. <laughs> it's a song about getting the woman to try anal. I don't know if that made that clear. <clears throat> wow, I, I never would have fucking guessed. And then she's like, no, I have a headache. It is not goo goo time. God damn it. God I want goo goo time. God damn it. <laughs> The only uh, woman I've met that that doesn't work on. That's it. That's it. I'm out. <laughs> no, you're not. Goodbye, everybody. See ya. Bye. Now, where are you going to go? You're in your car. <laughs> you're at work. <laughs> mm -hmm. Did he, no! he actually left? <laughs> did, did Jace actually leave? Uh, yeah, he did. Wow. It's just jokes, my oh. man. There's no need to get upset. <laughs> it's too bad Jason died, you know. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll, miss, I'll miss Jason, his big, old, beautiful head. I know, and his six-inch penis. That's right. God damn it. Jasmine beat me. Her name is Namura, not Jasmine. Give it. It's Jazz. She looks like Princess Jasmine. Okay. Oh, in, dare, in her, in my man. initials. Uh, hold on. Six. No. Yeah. There. Anyway, uh, just thoughts on Mace the Dark Age, Dane. I liked it. It was a pretty badass fighting game. 
and it's a worthy uh, Mortal Kombat clone. I liked it. Jason? Yeah, better than War Gods. Way better than Dark Rift. I was going to say, Dark Rift is a low bar too, but War Gods is a fairly low bar. And War Gods was also midway, strangely. Uh, yeah, this is actually fine. It's more than fine. It's actually like incredibly replayable. Uh, it's it's t it can be tough, uh, even on the easier difficulties. It can be tough. So you're you're definitely going to have to really practice at this game to get good at it. Um, but yeah, I'd say honestly, uh, this might be slightly better than Mortal Kombat Four, which we'll probably get to at some point because it's on the wheel. Um, I don't know if it's bad. It's it's sometimes it can be a better Mortal Kombat game than some Mortal Kombat games, which is crazy to think about. But yeah, it's fine. I like it. Scores out of ten, Dane. It's fine. Fine. Uh, eight. Jason. Six. I'm gonna give it a seven. Yeah, seven. I have to think about that for a second. Seven. Seven. All right, uh, sure. we're about to play our second game of the episode. Let's see what it lands on. Uh, oh, it almost landed on Mike's choice. Uh, oh. Sadly, it did not. Isn't that, isn't that too bad for you? It's all right. Tommy Hill. Oh, is this what I think it is? Yeah, it is. Yes. Yeah. With the demonic opening singing. This actually would have been my choice if it landed on Dave's choice. That demonic voice and the music there, that's weird. Hey, no Satan. I mean, 1080 Snow Morning. Uh, let's see. Oh, options are stinky. Uh, yeah, options are stinky. Yeah. All right, let's do a match race. Okay. I am normal. Walk the body, walk the body, walk the body, walk. <laughs> work the shit. Work your body, work your body until you're naughty. <laughs> yeah, sure. Everybody. Everybody. Yeah. Rock your mother and body. Rock your mother and body. Work that body right. Back streets back. Street back. Oh, oh my. We're men in tights. Don't do We have tight tights. It's true. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, my, oh, my God. So apparently there's a new ROH World Champion. Who that? Uh, one of the Briscoe, the Briscoe that's still alive. Oh yeah. Oh, so Mark uh, Briscoe. Mark Briscoe, yeah. Yeah, he beat uh, he beat Eddie. So mm -hmm. Eddie Eddie is no longer Eddie Two Belts. I don't think Eddie has any belts anymore. Well, because Eddie was Eddie three belts, but he lost one belt to Okada. Hmm. And then uh, he lost the second belt now. Um, let me see. Does he... Does he still have the New Japan belt that he had? Um... Yeah, he's still the strong openweight champion. Yeah. 
but uh, he's only he's any one belt now. Yep. Listen, the man is 42 years old, starting to get up there in age. Yeah, but he's got a lot of heart. I mean, yeah. like, that that guy, like, you know, he, he, he makes me happy. He makes me happy. Oh, yeah, no doubt about it. He's a good guy, but, like, starting to get he's to a, that point where, like, his, his theme song is educational. What do you mean? The world is cold. So bundle up. Oh. Well, see, that is very educational. Thank you. Yeah. You know, so slightly, uh, slightly more educational than something like, uh, you know, AJ Styles' previous theme song of Nope, they don't want none. Nope, they don't want none. Nope, they don't want none. Oh, I know you hate X Factor. <laughs> oh, I know you hate X Factor. But I know your name is X Pac, but you ain't gotta tear your ass like that. Do, 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 do. Oh, what you looking at? Nobody wants to poop like that. Nobody wants a poop pocket. You living in a wheelchair now. Woo! In a wheel, your story is down. <laughs> what you want? So, meanwhile, uh, I'm looking at New Japan's championships. Uh, the six man tag championship is uh, vacant right now. Yeah. Let's go, vacant! Woo, Baker! They, they are, they are the six man never open weight tag champs, and the uh, uh, AEW tag champs right now. You know, I, I wondered why Vacan hasn't gone to any kind of wrestling hall of fame. Have you seen the amount of titles that they've had over the years? Amazing. I know, right? Literally every single wrestling federation they've had titles. It's wonderful. Get away from me, computer player. Oh, uh... Oh, oh I see what happened. Um, Kazuchika Okada, Hiroshi Tanahashi, and Tomohiro Ishii vacated the championship due to Okada's contract with New Japan Pro Wrestling expired. Yeah, and uh, Tanahashi, of course, being injured on top of it all. Yeah. Yeah, Tanahashi had to swerve and uh, give up the belt to uh, his New Japan World TV Championship to uh, Matt Riddle. Uh, Rat middle. Yeah, that, that sums him up. Very mid. <laughs> He's the middle of a rat. He would you blow me. Uh, Meanwhile, the uh, global Great heavyweight Ocon champion is the uh, Great Okan is the uh, king of pro wrestling. Good for him. Good for him. I would never want to meet that man in a dark alley. He looks scary. Yeah. Meanwhile, the IWGP Global Heavyweight Champion is Nick Nemeth. Yep. Good, good for him. Good for good, him. Good for him. Otherwise known as Dolph Ziggles. Mr. Mr. Ziggles. The ziggly zig zig zig. The zigzag. Mm hmm. The knick knack. Patty whack. Give a dog a bone. The bone. This old man is going home. Ow. 
the never, never open weight championship. Why is it called never? What, what, I don't understand the significance of that. Uh, oh, wait, wait, hold on. Never mind. I just Revolution, like... Valiantly, Eternal, Radical. Those are words, yes. Yes. It's an acronym. <laughs> yes. J- Japan. Yeah, like Japan. I, I like how Wikipedia statistics include first champion, most reigns, longest reign, shortest reign, oldest champion, youngest champion, heaviest champion, and lightest champion. Yes. Mm-hmm. And if you look at the, the world heavy, if you look at the current WWE World Heavyweight Championship, you'll see shortest reign is Drew McIntyre. Five minutes and 46 seconds. Uh, uh, I, I've seen multiple nicknames for him. Uh, well, no, actually, not. I've only seen DM Hung for that. Damian Priest, on the other hand, great nicknames coming up for him, including Bisexual Undertaker and uh, Counter Taker. Yeah, Drew. Drew Bye. actually, Drew actually called him Bondage Undertaker on Raw. Yeah. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I forgot. Mm-hmm. I forgot who in the women's division called him Countertaker on uh, Twitter, and I was like, "Oh my god, what?" Who called him that? So somebody on the women's division called him Countertaker. Hunter Taker. Holy oh, shit. Damien Priest is 41 years old? Yeah. Yeah. Good God. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's kind of like when uh, uh, L.A. Knight called uh, Drew McIntyre an old man. And then Drew McIntyre doxed him by throwing up his Wikipedia page, going that L.A. Knight was older than Drew McIntyre. I was about to say, it's like, listen, fucking Eli Drake, you're 41 years old. Like, let's call a spade a spade. Yeah. But I don't look at... Yeah. I mean, to be fair, when you don't look your age, that's all that matters. It's true. In the entertainment industry. No, no, you're you're right. Uh, Sports. Entertainment. Sports. I love playing sport ball. Ready, go. Ready, blow. <laughs> Sorry, God. Somebody say blow? Yeah. What? Wait a minute. What's Somebody... that you're skiing down? We hit the mother wall. <laughs> Somebody, said... Somebody said blow quick. Get Dane Ford Jones so I can take him to McDonald's. Shut up. Shut up. I don't want to hear this anymore. I need some salt for my fries. Dane just no! doesn't want McDonald's, which I mean is fair because it's McDonald's. Well, yeah, I know. I'd, I'd rather have Wendy's myself. The Wendy's nuts are dragging across you know, your face. <laughs> I'd rather have Wendy's you know, until they I... start jacking up their prices in the middle of the day again. Well, they yeah. they, they walked back on that, actually. Oh, good. Yeah. They should. I think they, they I, li- I think they knew from the very start that that was not going to be well received. Yeah. I I like Wendy's but they've been fucking up my order something fierce in the last like couple weeks. I'm just not down with that. I keep You're ordering I order I like the spicy chicken but every time I order it they give me a fucking win- a Dave's single and it's like this is not what I ordered. <laughs> Dave's single? When when they break up? 
Like, does this look like a chicken patty to you? Retire. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, you hear what I said, AJ Styles? Retire. All right. Uh, thoughts on 1080 snowboarding, Dane? Uh, that is one of my favorite under the radar games on the uh, N64. One of those games that I would rent constantly from Blockbuster because I enjoyed the shit out of it. I love these here snowboarding games, and this is one of them. Jason? I mean, it's no snowboard, kids. But, uh, no board kids. And it trickles uh, out of me. I mean, uh, yeah, seriously. I mean, uh, it's, it's good. And I kind of wish that Nintendo would do another one, but, uh, you know, priorities, uh, lack of studios, et cetera. Yeah, it's, it is it. It is a uh, good uh, snowboarding game for its time. Uh, uh, yeah. I would argue SSS, SSX Tricky is probably a little better, but uh, in any event, yeah, for the N64, you can't get better than this. Uh, scores out of 10, Dane. Nine. Jason. Seven. I'm going to give it an eight. Woo. All right, one last game to play. Hey, good games. Spinning the wheel. I think we got the crap out of the way on the last reward. Uh, record. On the last reward? Uh, you say that. The reward is this But recording. I have a feeling uh, we're going to be using a, uh, at least Dane will want to use a uh, veto on this. <clears> okay. <throat> so I'm probably, I'm, we're probably not going to get to play this one because it's going to get vetoed, but... And I wouldn't, I wouldn't blame you for vetoing it either. <laughs> uh, yeah, veto. Yeah. It, I yeah, already know yeah. what this is, and I can tell. Yeah, v yep, it is a golf game. Eight dramatic holes challenge you. This is not a porn set. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't figure we're going to be playing this one, so we're down to one veto now. Uh, let me remove that. It's an ES sock. Yep. All right, spin it again. See what we land on. Oh, fuck. Oh. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I think Mike just got a bono. Uh -huh. It's goo goo time. You know, I was listening to the uh, <laughs> guitar soundtrack that they officially put out in Japan. This is like the most satanic soundtrack Nintendo officially ever released. Let's do this. No, like legit, the freaking guitar soundtrack that they released, the official CD, the official album, it's like. Holy crap. Love it. His golden fox and his body boost and grip say dad. <laughs> Damn. I forget if it was this one or if it was the GameCube one that uh, proved that F-Zero is in a alternate, uh, like, parallel dimension to uh, Star Fox. Hmm. God, what do I want to play? As? Because of the fact that uh, James McCloud, Star Fox's dad, is a racer in F Zero. Hmm. And also the fact that is E grade the good race or bad? Cars, I don't know. Uh, F Zero racers use the same system to like hover oh, and that... fly that the Star Fox uh, vehicles used to like fly the G diffuser system. G diffuser. Whoa. Something's wrong with the G diffuser system. 
Do a barrel roll. Do a rare bowl. Do a bowl or rare bar bur bur bur. Seriously. Check out this album later on. It fucking kicks ass. This Do album, a- this soundtrack bucks. Your, your dad doesn't just have sex, Mike. Your dad. Yucks. <laughs> <laughs> Your dad yucks. That. Your dad yucks. <laughs> see that girlfriend of yours that you bring over? You see that girlfriend of yours that you bring over? I'm going to yuck her, Max. <laughs> That's what I... Let me tell you something, Max. If, if you don't watch her, I'm going to swoop in and yuck her. All right, Donald, oh, where's my yucking money? <laughs> well, I'm tired. Oh, Donald, I swear to God, Donald, if you don't give me my yucking money by the end of the week, I will break your yucking jaw, Donald. Then where are you going to go? Oh, Donald, I swear to God. I will. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You better be sorry, you yucking piece of shit. (laughs) (sighs) Can barely understand you, Donald. Bad enough you owe me money. You yucking individual. What? What'd you say, Donald? What the fuck? What the hell did you say? I just, I, it's hard to really. It's hard he's gonna to really go do sell Daisy's here. pussy, alright? That's what he said. <laughs> what did he, what? What, <laughs> what did he want? What? <laughs> what? What did he want? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> What? What? <laughs> one beep. 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 Beep of a boop of Brady. Something about Tom Brady? What? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I better be careful around Tom Brady. I better wear pants around Tom Brady because I know he's famous for deflating balls. We all know. We all know that the, the referee is Where's that referee? He tried to yuck on he me. Was, he was yucking me. <laughs> that referee tried to yuck on me. <laughs> that was Max. You think, Max, you think this is yucking funny? <laughs> That's right. Not Max. Yet. Okay, bad. Uh, apparently, Max, that apparently, referee tried to yuck on me. Apparently, Goofy's son is Bobby Hill. <laughs> okay, dad. Give me my purse. I don't know you. Landing Tower of Cheese. Uh, shut up, Polly Shore. Oh, hey, give me the skeezish. The bees. I'm pretty sure you're all of those things, Paldy Shore. <laughs> hey, but uh, stick her in the cooter, Pooter. <sighs> <laughs> oh, what is this show? Oh, the show is Gretro Roulette. Oh, that's fair. I mean, oh, last. also, uh, other, uh, other Nintendo reference. Zoda. Zoda want to get revenge? 
Uh, yep. he, he's not the world's most passionate guy, but he'll get second place if he really try. His name is Zoda. Zozo Zoza Zoda. <laughs> sand Ocean. Yeah. Ocean Sand. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Just squeeze on your mom, Tom. <laughs> Act like a Barney Barney. No need to be rude, dude. Just watch Polly Shore. What? <laughs> oh, I'm getting barfy. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm getting barfy. Why? Because you're watching Polly Shore? <laughs> yes. Jeez. Hey, listen. Jesus. Listen. Yeah? The, the short film he did recently where he played Richard Simmons. Oh, Lord. Yeah, that was amazing. I was going to say, it didn't suck. He actually took it seriously. He took it very seriously. Yeah. He didn't do the Polish or mannerisms. It's like, oh, my God, this this actually is is good. Well, I guess if anybody could, would play Richard Simmons, Polly Shore looks an awful lot like him. At least he did back yeah. in the 90s, he did, for sure. I don't know about so much anymore with the short hair, but still. Whoa. Calm down, game. I'm going to need you to calm down a little. I'm going to need you to Not barfing. be like Donna Summer. Jeez. I'm going to I'm gonna need you Holy to be shit. like Donna Summer in the phone book. My dudes. I finished, you won. I finished first. Woo, you did it. I did it. Do, 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 Who's Jabba the Hutt in sixth place? What is that? Is that an egg? It looks like it. Oh, it's Mr. Mr. Ed. Mr. Ed. Oh no, the Sony Pico was in fourth place or whatever that video game system was called. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was called the Pico. Hmm. That there was that kids thing with like the, yeah. the books. <clears throat> so I'm plugged yeah. into it. I am now ahead of Blood Falcon. Is that Captain Falcon's evil twin? Probably. Devil's Forest Corkscrew. I got a devil's haircut in my mind. <laughs> you know, when I wrote Devil's Haircut, I was feeling really... What's that song about again? <laughs> <laughs> hey, like... Hey, like... It could, it could be about anything, man. I don't know. I'm back. It's it's about yeah it's about Jesse Jackson, sure. Yeah, whatever. We'll go with that. <laughs> if you, if that's what you wanted to be, then the sure. Name is Jesse Jackson. You got boom power. You got poop power. Boom power. Oh, boom poo 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 power. Jesus. Boomer. Yeah, I was surprised you couldn't use like any boosts or anything I've like that. I've got Boomhauer. <laughs> dang old, dang old, dang old, old man. Old man. Dang old, dang old, dang old, dang old, dang man. Man, man getting old men going around with man, man Barbo. 748 miles an hour, man. Wait a minute. Well, how come there are two dang Boomhauers here? There's one, though. Ding dong, ding dong, ding be. dong, dong. No, this is the inside of Boomhauer's mind where everybody else speaks like him and he speaks perfect English. Hank, will you please shut up? I don't know, Boom Howard, dang dong, dang old, dang old Hank Hill here. <laughs> Hank, dang old, dang old, dang old, 9-11. Okay, dang old, dang old, dad. How you doing, Hank? Dang old, dang old, dang old, dang old, dang old, I'm fat. <laughs> hey, you're no, you my, need space, Mario. My Willy dangle, dangle, dangles. <laughs> you beat space. You did beat space, Mario. Look at that. 
Oh, mamma fucking mia. Who is Space Mario? Uh, uh, Mr. Mr. EAD. He's he's named after a division of Nintendo's software development oh. group. Uh, so, uh, oh, man. Space Antonio Mario. Guster. Who is, who is literally a palette swap of Samurai Goro. Ah. <laughs> uh. See? They just put a helmet on him. Ah, I see. That's very well done, too. Antonio Guster is just Spanish Samurai Goro. <laughs> uh, Blood Falcon is just Captain Falcon with of sushi. blood farts. You're a blood fart. Yeah, no, no he's, he's, he's color swapped. I believe... He's a, Palace swapped uh, Captain Falcon. I believe Jason was in a movie about blood farts. Blart. <laughs> <laughs> it was called Paul Blart. The Avengers oh, <laughs> Were you an extra in Paul Blart? Yeah. So I was right. <laughs> yeah. That movie Can't was. Can't see a myself in it, but I was there. I wish it. If I had a choice, I wouldn't see myself in it either. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, shit. Are we riding I mean, on the back of a worm? What is this? I mean, don't you don't you want to see such fine motion pictures as... Here comes the boom. Bleed for this? Or bleed for this? <laughs> no. Or radio finger raids again? Whatever the fuck. That is. Listen, I'm just gonna put it like this. That was another thing I did voiceover for. I'm just, I'm just gonna put it like this. I feel like the. I, I, this is my true opinion. The best thing Jason's ever been in was the invention of lying. That's it. Excuse me. <laughs> fucking excuse me. R.I.P.D. Wants to have uh, a word. With you. I don't know. It's all right. But I like Simon Pegg. <laughs> also, right. also, Jason had very long hair in that movie. Excuse me. I had long hair on a lot of them. That's fair. I will not hear a goddamn bad word against that's my boy. I couldn't even say that. Was <laughs> I was going to say, oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Did that game just say I lost my virginity? Uh, I guess so. You just lost your virginity. <laughs> Sweet dude. Now you're a giant hoe bag. <laughs> Two, That's one. How could you the, see the that? face on the uh, the face on the freaking countdown timer looks like Galactus. Galactus. I'm Galactic. I'm Galactic. I'm Galactic. Intergalactic. Intergalactic, yeah, planetary, planetary, intergalactic, planetary, planetary. How are we gonna? How are we gonna? Per, how are we gonna do the? The, the mechanical voice part good and then just mumble the Beastie Boys' rap parts. That two beer a girl two girlies in a beer that's cold. That's not even the right song. It's whatever. That <laughs> you Well now don't That's not you intergalactic, me, that's smile. fucking Paul you Revere. Around, I'll make you work your while. My numbers be on what you can doubt. Maybe it's because we're so versatile. Stop. Profile. I said, it always brings me back when I hear food child from the Hudson River out to the now. I run the marathon to the very last mile. Bitch. Now do Paul Revere. Um. Aha. Uh -huh. I mean, I would have. He would have to take me out to dinner first. I meant to. Before I. All right. Whatever. <laughs> it's a mirage. I'm telling you, it's a. Sabotage. Sabotage. <laughs> yeah, here's a little story I've got to tell about three bad brothers you know so well. It started way back in history with that rock FCA me, Mike D. We had a. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we had a fuck. 
<laughs> that's all the that's the whole song. <laughs> we had a fuck. And that's how we came up with the Whatever. album license to ill. Whatever. <laughs> Um, what happened? What happened? Uh, What's that? Rest in peace, Mike D. That's great. Uh, thoughts on F Zero X, Dan? It's a great game. I love the original F Zero, so I really liked the N sixty four version. Uh, there's really nothing else you can say about it except it's wonderful. Jason, I mean. Looking, looking at uh, you know Nintendo, there's a lot of franchises that uh, they've kind of let slip by the wayside, and they suddenly remembered F Zero existed by bringing it back with F Zero ninety nine of all things. Like, come on, really? Not a real F Zero, but a, but a friggin' battle right? Whatever, you know. I mean, at least they throw us a bone, you know. Give me a freaking bone here. Is still a good game. F Zero X is still a good game. Like I. This this soundtrack is like one of the most satanic sounding things they ever put out, and it's fucking amazing. And y'all should just listen to it. It's fucking amazing. Yeah, unquestionably, uh, F Zero X is one of the best racing games ever, ever made. Um, certainly one of the best N sixty four wrestling uh, wrestling games. Yeah, racing games. Is a wrestling game? There's a wrestling, wrestling. game. There is a race a wrestling game on the wheel, but like we're not gonna get to it yeah. today, obviously. But um. Yeah, it is absolutely one of the best ri- racing games on the N64. Um, bar none. Scores out of 10, Dane. 10. Jace. 9. Yeah, uh, I'm going to give it a solid 10. On this edition of the show, we played Mace at Dark Age, 1080 Snowboarding, and F-Zero X. Best game of the episode, Dane. Oh, this is going to be tough. Cause these are three very good games. Um, I will give it to... F zero, but just barely. Jason. Yeah, uh, F zero. Yeah, I'm gonna give it the F zero. Thanks for joining us on this edition of Retro Roulette. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe. And be sure to the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane Ford Joan and mm-hmm. Jason Amherst, I'm Mike Riley. Saying, see you next time on Retro Roulette. Good night, everybody.